Good evening. Welcome to another episode of Back to the Past. I am Blair. This is likely to be a pretty quick episode. I really hadn't planned on even recording what I'm doing here, but I got my third garden box in. I just finished that today, and I'd like to get my garlic planted yet, either this evening or first thing in the morning. Tomorrow night we're supposed to get some rain. In fact, over the next three or four days we're supposed to get three to five inches, so a significant amount of rain. And this area isn't going to be very accessible with the tractor anymore after, oh, probably noon tomorrow. So I want to go ahead and I'll go ahead and get started, get, uh, get this prepped, get some holes put in for the garlic to be planted in, and... Uh, Wait patiently for them to come up, I guess. But I've got a bucket of wood chips ready to cover the whole thing once I get that done. Now, well, we'll just take a look at the tube garden boxes that I, I did this, uh, this past spring and summer. All right, so this is the garden box I put in this spring. I think I did an episode on that. You can see I've got a couple of watermelons there ready to pick. I've got some cucumbers out of this earlier in the year. They were wonderful and delicious. Uh, tomatoes are still ripening on the vine. Um, the beans, I'd pick through all the beans. I've got some there that I'm saving for seeds for next year. There are still potatoes to be dug up down here, and I don't know what they're going to look like. I'm hoping pretty good. I have no reason to believe otherwise. Um, the two watermelons there are ready to pick. I've got another one here, a little guy, that actually has been growing and, and growing pretty quickly. So I don't think that it's going to stay frost-free here long enough that I'm going to be able to enjoy that one, but we'll find out. Something that is kind of funny almost is I had a watermelon. I didn't even see it until it was pretty big, and it's actually grown into the structure of that mesh. Um, so what I'm going to have to do is harvest that one just by cutting off the top third of it or so, I guess. Um, but that one's edible and ready to go, too. Then, this is a second garden box that I put in, and I didn't do any recording of that. This is my strawberry bed. And what happened is in July, there was a lady advertising on Facebook, come dig up all of the ever-bearing strawberries you want. I'm tired of my garden. I don't want it anymore. I dug up about 25 plants, gave a few away. I planted, I guess there must be 15 here, is what it started out as. They all wilted. I couldn't keep enough water on them to keep them from wilting, so I got a shade cloth. Once I put a shade cloth over the top of it, they started greening up, and now they're just going absolutely nuts. And I am transplanting some in pots to give to neighbors and friends. So that's my two garden boxes so far. Let's get that third one planted with garlic. Actually, before the garlic, I got a little bit of ginger to put in the ground, so... And then last year, I actually had a small garlic and onion garden just up the hill and it was an area, really wasn't intended as a garden area, that I ended up just tilling it up with the shovel and then stuck some garlic in the ground, didn't pay a lot of attention to it, covered it with wood chips, and then just left it. I never watered it once, I never did anything to it. And it ended up that it came up over winter and um, then during the summer I went ahead and harvested the garlic tell you more about the garlic in a second but one of the things that I'd, I had planted was something from an onion set I got that size of onion I thought I'm just going to try replanting it and see if it'll grow any bigger so got one onion here that we'll see how that does next the garlic and I went to the grocery store honestly I got this from I got one head of elephant garlic so I'm going to go ahead and plant these cloves 
in a row. And then one of the heads of garlic that I got out of my garden last year was a, a decent sized head. It separated into only three cloves and they're huge cloves. So I want to replant those too, just to see what the heck happens with them. So let me get ready for that. Mine down on this end. I think that'll work. I'm planting these about three to four inches deep. really big cloves here, see what they do. Okay. And we'll get some garlic. I bought from Country Creek Acres. Not at all impressed by the size of the cloves, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully I can grow something bigger than they did. And then Cool Beans and Sprouts is the other one. Both of these are purple garlic. Never had them before. We'll find out what they're like. They're, they're both hard neck garlic, and I do have some soft neck garlic ordered since I live in the south. Um, I don't know when that'll be here. I think it's supposed to be here in the next week. It's November 1st now, so with no frost in the forecast here for at least a couple of weeks, I've got plenty of time yet to be planting garlic. Now I'll get in a few more rows of garlic and I want to save some room on the end for potatoes. I'll end up planting potatoes in this bed. I'll do this as an underground, underground uh, crop area. Last evening, I ran out of battery on the camera, and then shortly after that, I ran out of light from the sun, but I did get all the hard neck garlic in. I still got the soft neck to plant, which is going to leave me a real limited space for potatoes, but that's okay because I can plant them somewhere else too. I think what I'm going to go ahead and do, since it's, we got light drizzle coming down now, supposed to get heavy tonight and then really, really heavy the next couple days. This area down here where the garden is, is kind of an old peat bog, I think, and it gets really soft when it gets wet. So I want to get the wood chip spread and then get the tractor the heck out of here while I can. And then I've got another project that I can be working on that uh, perhaps I'll record a little bit later if the weather holds up for me. So I'll go ahead and get this covered and uh, be done with this for now. I've got everything labeled where it is and uh, I think it looks pretty good. I am by no means a garlic growing expert. Two years ago, I planted, in, I think it was late October, in an area that I just hand tilled, the same one that I talked about earlier. I've actually planted there two years in a row. Didn't pay much attention to it. The first year, the garlic all came up really great. Come spring, when the squirrels started coming out and I started seeing them, things started getting dug up a little bit. 
And then there was a point where just overnight, I don't know if an armadillo got into it, if a wild hog got into it or what, completely tore up the, the bed that I had both onions and garlic planted in. And I ended up trying to harvest some. I, I ended up getting one garlic, one head of garlic that they didn't get to, whatever the heck it was. Then last year, planted in the same area. I didn't plant a whole lot. I don't think I planted, but maybe six, eight, ten cloves of garlic. Um, there were some onions that did come up wild from the year before. And I actually had decent garlic last year. Uh, this year, I'm actually going to plant, or I have obviously planted in a bed that I can take a little bit of care of it. I'm close enough to water that I can uh, keep it watered if we get into a dry season and such. So I think this year should be a lot different. I didn't count how many rows that I had. There's nine uh, garlic per row. Um, I think maybe 60 or 70 is probably what I got planted. Time to cover it up, protect it for the winter. Since we got a light drizzle, I'm not going to worry about watering this in. We got three to five inches rain still forecast for the next couple days, so there will be plenty of moisture in here. Here I go with the wood chips. That has the bed covered and protected for the winter. I'll have to dig up a few wood chips to put in the soft neck garlic when I get that. I've got this area seeded too around the garden box, so hopefully I've got a little grass coming up there in the spring too. My next project down here, I guess, is going to be continuing this electric fence around this whole general area. And I've tried to leave enough room between it that I can actually get a mower in here and be able to mow in, or mow in between things, make it a little easier to take care of maybe than it was last year. But that's all, folks. See you on the next one. Goodbye.